Caroline Clark, Posture Alignment Specialist. So today's exercise is one of my favourite, favourite exercises to do. I always give this to people with, who've got a bad back, who need to relax, who've got bad hips, anything. This is a psoas release. Now, psoas being the biggest muscle in the body, joining the top half and the bottom half of the body together. Okay, it's about 16 inches long, and if we have a psoas which is tight one side and not tight the other side, it's going to cause a scoliosis of the spine. Now, everyone says I say that like a McFlurry. Honestly, I say words wrong. That is just me. But this is a great exercise for making it become the same length both sides. So, what you're going to do... I like a cushion underneath the head because then that's putting the neck that you're not putting any pressure on the neck. Depending on how big a cushion, you can have a small cushion or I use four inches. So that is going underneath my skull and this is right under the skull as though you're going to bed, nice and relaxed. So the next position we're going to get into when I've pulled my trousers up is you're going to grab one knee and you're going to pull it into your chest. That is so important. Now, if you can't do that, if that is a really hard thing to do, then grab a chair and another cushion. Hang on a minute, grab another cushion. And then put the leg up onto the chair with a cushion and bring it in a flex position. You need this knee back, all right? And you could lie like that. So that becomes a very um, easy position to be in. Basically, I want you to not allow your lower back, your lumbar spine, to arch up at all. I don't want any arching of this part of your body. I'm going to do it without this because I actually find it easier. So, I've got the cushion right underneath my head. I'm grabbing the knee right back into my chest so my back cannot arch. This just put my lower back right into the ground. It, it's rammed into the ground now. So when I do this exercise, I want the whole of my foot on the ground, the inside and the outside of the foot. I'm going to allow the foot to slide down and flex. Then it's going to come back down, come up and let it drop out. Bring it back up again and down and flex it. And you're going to keep doing this. I would start with two minutes each side and then you will go up to about five minutes at each side. This is stretching your lumbar spine. So what's happening? I have got my knee or my thigh right into my chest, which is not allowing my psoas to engage. It is actually, in. I wouldn't say it's in a relaxed position, but it's in a position where it can stretch. My, I, although I'm using my hip flexors to do the work, and the psoas is your primary hip flexor, it's allowing it to stretch. Now, if, my, if I had scoliosis of the spine, and one side of my spine is coming out, let me just show you. You're just gonna carry on doing the exercise. So, with my little person here. So, if the psoas is tight one side, this is actually, the psoas is actually um, attached to six of your vertebra. So, it's attached to thoracic 12, and your five lumbar vertebra. It comes down the inside of the spine and it comes underneath the guts, it comes up over the pelvis and it joins onto your femur bone. So it allows you to have an S curve in the spine. It allows your back to come in. So if we're actually pushing your back into the ground, it's stretching it. And what happens is if you have got one side locked short, the psoas, and one locked long, then your back is going to arch towards the long side. So if we can work it equally both sides, and if you had scoliosis on one side, you would not do the opposite side more. You do it equally both sides. So once you've done two minutes on one side, then you go turn over, put your head onto the cushion again, grab hold of the other leg, pull it towards you, and let this leg come out, come up and out, up and going down, flex it to you, come up 
and out. Now you will find the more you do this exercise, the more your lumbar spine will release. And when I've got people with really, I call it snicky backs, because in Devon we say snicky, we don't say pain. So if I've got people with really snicky backs, then this is an exercise that's a very slow and a very, very nice release for that lumbar spine. So th this is my take on a psoas release. And I have to say that I went to um, a workshop with a core walking man, Jonathan Fitz Gordon, who taught me this exercise. And I have brought it within my Igoscu straight away because it is an incredible exercise for releasing the lumbar spine and the psoas. So above my head is my website. Um, down below me is subscribe to me. Uh, I haven't got many subscribers yet. I will get a few more one day. And um, the more you, more people subscribe, the more I can get out to loads of people. All these are free videos. It's free to subscribe, which I didn't know to start with. And so anyway, I'm hoping to see you on my next video. Caroline Clark, Posture Alignment Specialist. And this was SOAS Release.